In this example video, we're going to go over exercise 619, looking at how to journalize the adjusting entry for inventory shrinkage. So they tell us that our company uses the perpetual inventory system, and our records indicate that we have $2,780,000 of merchandise on hand as of March 31st. The physical inventory count indicates that they actually only have $2,734,800 of merchandise. So we need to journalize the adjusting entry for the inventory shrinkage for our company at the end of the year. So even though the company uses the perpetual inventory system, which is constantly updating our inventory levels with every purchase, sale, and return, GAP, generally accepted accounting principles, requires us to still do a physical inventory count because things like damage can happen to our inventory, theft can happen, maybe it was just miscounted, maybe if we sell a food item it has spoiled. So we always still have to do a physical inventory count and every company that has inventory is going to experience some level of inventory shrinkage over time. So when we do this, this is an adjusting entry for our company. So we have March 30th, 31st, 2019. And so what we're going to debit here is our cost of merchandise sold. Technically, we didn't sell this merchandise. The difference between what our inventory ledger account says we have and what our physical inventory account says we have. But it's a cost of us doing business. We know our inventory is going to shrink somehow um, over time, and we put it into that cost of merchandise sold account. So we do the difference between what our ledger says we have and what our physical inventory count indicates that we have in terms of inventory. So the 2,780,000 is what our general ledger account for our merchandise inventory indicates that we have, but after doing that physical inventory count, we know that we have less. So we are going to shrink our inventory by $45,200, and what we now have less of is our merchandise inventory for that same $45,200.